everybody. I have a project to share for you today. Um, this little sign is just there for something for the camera to focus on. Um, I want to show you the paper line, or at least the names of the paper lines that I used um, in this project. When I'd seen these come into work, I knew I had to do something with them. It's actually two paper lines, but I don't think that they're necessarily what you would consider a full paper line because there's not a ton. I think there's only like six or seven different papers with each one. They are by Bella Boulevard and they are called Riley and Rover. So there is a cat themed paper line and then there is a dog theme paper line. I used just a couple from the Rover line. Most of the papers are from the Riley, but they do have some kind of generic patterns in each line. So you can use them for some fill in with stuff as long as you just avoid the very specific to dog or specific to cat papers. So I use those papers and I use the sticker sheet for the Riley line of papers with it. So let me move this and I will show you what I've made. It is another mini album. <laughs> it is a very chunky mini album. So I built the covers and the spine with chipboard, same as always. Covered them all in black cardstock and then just added the paper onto the cardstock in the front. This little cat image was actually from one of the cut apart journal cards in the collection. And if I can get it in the light just right, I covered him with my Wink Estella. So he is glittery. The little yellow scallop border behind him as well as the little mouse um, border behind him are both from the sticker sheet. This meow is from the sticker sheet. Um, I added these um, Michael's daisies in gray and white to the front cover. And then I printed this, I created this and printed it off my computer. Just what greater gift than the love of a cat by Charles Dickens. The strip here that is the label shape, I actually cut that with my Stampin' Up label punch. I'm kind of having a little bit of a love affair with this thing right now. And what I did to do this label is you just cut a strip of paper and this one's just a little bit on the thin side, but you just slide it into the edge of your punch and punch the edge. And then you get those scallops on the edge of your paper. So you can make any length of label that you want using that punch. The width is gonna be the same, but the length can be any length. So on the side of the spine, I added a, another sticker from the collection. Everything has been edged with black soot distress ink. And then on the back, these were both um, fussy cut out of the paper. Um, this strip says, cats don't have owners, they have staff. And then the little heart with the paw print on it. So we'll open the album up and I'm trying to stay in frame here. Let's see if I can zoom out just a little. Okay. So open it up. I did try to make this one a little bit more interactive. So on this front, I have this strip of ribbon and I use this um, rhinestone ribbon slider in the shape of a heart on there. It is open behind, so you could use it to put um, some items tucked in there. It does have a magnetic closure, so it opens up. And then there is a tag in the pocket. And then on this page, this is just one of those um, journal cut aparts. Happy is the home with at least one cat. I did create that as a pocket. So there is a little tag for a journal spot, maybe a tiny little photo tucked in behind there. And then this flap opens up. 
So there's a photo mat. This is a little piece cut out of the collection and I just matted it. Um, this is a light enough paper that it could be journaling on top of the paper right there. So all of the pages, the flaps have magnetic closure on them. So on the back side, another um, piece from the cut aparts in the collection. Just matted that up on a little kind of photo mat spot. This is actually the negative of something you'll see later on in the album. Um, it was a cut from my silhouette. So these are both cuts from my silhouette. This piece is just a little kind of a paper charm. Moves around because it's attached with that black bread. And then the little cat. And I just thought he was cute. <laughs> so you open it up. Photo mat. Just this little sticker from the collection there. And then this little fly, uh, file folder opens up with just some little photo mats. And then on the back side there is um, this clip that's holding this little folder into place. And I used a sticker from the collection, a photo mat and a journal spot, another photo mat on the back, and then a sticker from the collection on the background paper. It says all you need is love and a cat. So another little pocket here, a sticker from the collection, little photo mat that tucks in. Hey, it's time for giveaway number two. So remember, you must be over 18, you must be a subscriber, and all you have to do is write S3G with your comment in the comments for this video to be entered in the giveaway. Good luck. Thanks for watching. This opens up. Again, another silhouette cut cat on there, and another photo mat. On the back side, there is this little corner pocket here, another sticker from the collection, and a photo mat. On here, on this page, we have another one of those um, top folding pockets. So photo mats in there. Another sticker from the collection. I just matted it on some black paper. And that opens up. So on this one, this is another one of those um, cut apart journal cards on there. Another one of those paper charms just in the shape of a cat. Again, attached with a black brad. And then this is two silhouette cuts in here. This is the one that I said the negative was the other one. It is actually one of these paper charms, but I just cut the little loop off at the top and just stuck it in the O for the love. Now on the back side, another photo mat. This is a um, vertical belly band, so you can slide items behind it. Get another cat silhouette on there. Opens up. There is another um, piece from the paper that I punched out and then just layered it on a scalloped punch paper. I cut the fishtail banner out of the paper. Um, another one of the cut aparts from the collection. And this one is actually a pocket. Um, it is, let me see. It's really tight in there though. So it would probably only hold like maybe one photo or something. I just didn't want to put a tag in there because I was having trouble getting it in and out. So another silhouette cut from my silhouette and another paper charm with a little dish. Um, a photo mat right here opens up. There's another photo mat. Again, another belly band just to tuck some photos in. Another pocket here with a sticker and then there is a photo mat inside there. And then this is the waterfall on the back cover. Um, it says it's not a home without furry friends. Another sticker from the collection matted on some black cardstock. This has got a magnetic closure in it so it does stay closed. So all those photo mats. And that is the end of the album.
So this is going to a certain someone and I hope she really likes it. Um, it was a lot of fun to create. I had a blast doing this. I pretty much sat down and just went straight through for like two days working on this. So I hope she likes it and I hope you enjoyed watching and have a great day. Bye.